What? What? Oh, it's not on. Oh, let me get my hat. I want my hat. I need my hat. I gotta have a hat, guys. Oh, my Xbox hat. I need my Fallout hat. I promised everybody we'd be playing some Pokemon. Let's play. Uh, why is my switch on? Let's turn on. Get, get the bed. Whoa! Whoa! Hold on. Uh, this thing can be wonky sometimes. I apologize. There we go. Whoa. Is that a game set? Hold the phone. Hold on. Everybody knows how I feel about sales. I don't hear anything either. I guess there's nothing in here. Oh, there it is. Okay. Do I have Let's Go Pikachu in there? Or do I have Let's Go Eevee in there? I don't know. Cool beans. I never use my Switch. Like, ever. Ever, ever. So, I apologize. That news. I want to see that news real quick. I swear to God. I swear to God. Sometimes these sales, man, they just hit me a certain way and I get nuts fast. Wow. 95% off. That's pretty insane. Oh, I see that game. It's almost like it's a crappy PC. Oh, you know that's bad on there. This is basically my Pokemon machine. It's a very, very expensive Pokemon machine. Ah, why? Really, almost all these games look terrible, and the ones that look okay, I know are on Xbox. Or PlayStation, or PC. I had to play all of those before this. We the Revolution. Still not enough. Blood Waves. The tenth line. Is that what it says? Tenth or I don't even know. I don't even care that much. What? That sounds horrible. These games look dumb. I really want. Oh, sold. Nope, I'm sold. Right here. Bus fix. Dollar forty nine. Oh God, these some of these games look bad. This game like looks bad. And it, when you actually watch the trailer for it, it's not as bad as what it seems. <sighs> Nintendo, make me want to buy something on your platform. Oh. <sighs> Goodness gracious. 
I'm assuming everybody's probably playing Borderlands. Yeah, straight up, there is nothing, nothing here. The men of, okay, well, I bet you that game's interesting, which is mad cheesy. Oh, those are his little cutesy Mahjong games, or they're all like cutesy provocative uh, anime ladies that are what is, scanty, scantily uh, clad. Where? Whatever. It's not like a terrible thing, I guess. What's that? What's that? What's that? Oh, that's adorable. Didn't this game just get pulled? Please buy something on our console. That's what that is. I don't need this anymore. Do I? I mean, I own the full version now. Can I just delete it? I don't think it works like that. Well, what's up, Trekkie Twenty Nine? Is it like tricky, like that uh, Run DMC song? three peeps in here now what's up everybody see i told i promised i promised everybody i'd be i'm great actually it is fantastic to finally have the weekend you know like it's just that victory like you finish work and you're like yeah and then you run errands like you know like how fast can i do errands so that way i can get home shower eat and start streaming So, but I am great, and I appreciate you asking. How, how is your wonderful day, by the way? Oh, no. It's a late shift for you. Why so late? You don't work? Why not? Everybody should work. Are you are you just looking for work right now? Well, dang. Happy birthday. That is wonderful. I'm not going to ask your age because I think that's very rude. If you'd like to say your age, you're more than welcome to. And then your son's in on Sunday. So it's nothing but a, like, family hangout, like, show weekend. I think that's super awesome. My birthday's this month, too. And so I never used to be a... I'll be 31 also this year. Uh, I was never really a birthday person up until, uh, and I mean, I, I, I don't really get out that much anyways. Uh, any, any of my, my, my people friends, <laughs> I probably see you guys actually more than them. Um, nice. Okay. Um. What is today? Today? Oh, okay. So it's tomorrow. Oh, oh I, see, I see what you're saying because you're you're five hours ahead. I'm on the I'm on the uh, east coast of, of the United States, so I'm I'm Eastern time zone. So there's a five hour difference between us. So, um, so I see what you're saying. You're you're already ahead of the game. Like you're already into your Saturday. Um, but uh, what the heck was I gonna say to you? Oh, I remember. 
Um, never ever a big birthday person, but last year uh, I was really sick and I was getting chemotherapy. My last day at chemo was my 30th birthday on the 28th. So this will be my uh, one year on the 28th this year after chemo. So it'd be really cool to like know that like I'm further out from that, you know, that junk, <laughs> you know, killing my body. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. It's all uphill from here. It's, I mean, it's tough, you know, don't get me wrong, but like, what? Oh, thanks a lot. I appreciate that because you were helping me get one. You just put me over that 50% mark. Of getting to, uh, getting towards my what do they call it? Like partner and affiliate ship with uh, Twitch. So I one hundred percent appreciate that. This is where I'm a boring streamer. Is I get talking too much and I just stare at myself and I I get, keep wanting to talk to you guys and I, then I don't play games. Um, but yeah, I really appreciate that because I've been working really hard and putting a lot of hours. Oh, are you? That's awesome. Did you find... It seems like it's like it's a really... I've only been doing it a month now. I had a friend that was... Because I... Uh, I don't entertain for a living, but I've been a musician for uh, a long, long time. And... Uh, and I've kind of recently gotten out of performing and things like that. And just being ill for a while, too. It, it kind of ruined my voice and... So it just wasn't, you know, I, I left I left the band I was playing in. So I, I've, you know, I'm just kind of focusing on, my, like, my day job. And then a buddy was mine was like, why don't you just do Twitch, man? Like, you're a naturally born entertainer. You know, you're good at talking. You're good at conversation. Because I was, like, the front guy in my band. So, so, you know, you have to interact with the crowd and stuff like that. So for me, this is super natural. It's weird not, have, not, not hearing people. You know, I'm a very audible person. So it's weird not hearing people, like, clap or like heckle me back you know i gotta read it now right and i have to imagine that they're excited or angry or upset or uh, actually my my i have a pretty good audience and they're super awesome and super kind and we, we sit here and troll each other in a very friendly way like the entire time it's hilarious but um yeah i'm, I'm enjoying it so far and i'm i'm pretty close to hitting this goal and and uh you know, I've been doing well. I'm talking to a, a company right now about a sponsorship too already. And I mean, a lot of things are just moving fast with this. And all I'm doing is just playing video games, you know? Oh no, what we got? What you want? Where's... I see, I see, I see. Love what? You gotta grab the thingy. Grab it. No. Grab. Nom, 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 Yeah, I know the one man I used to be in a band. Oh, I see, I see what you're saying. Like, you, you, you had a friend that was in, like, a band. Like, it's super rewarding, but it's, like, a really hard hard life until you kind of get <sighs> uh, I don't even know how I got in here oh, pet the cat or whatever this thing is until the drummer took a oh I don't think I've excuse me I don't I don't my at least the band I was playing in never never really did that I mean, if there was any issues, it was definitely discussed afterwards, but, like, we were always trying to be super, super respectful to each other. Um, like, we might give, like, we might turn around and give someone, like, a look, like, you know, like, dude, what are you doing? You know, like, did you, did you forget? You know, <laughs> like, but, yeah, I think, uh, some of the flowers. Um, yeah, I just, that's on perfect. I, I would, e even if I was like, you know what, this band's terrible, because I used to be like a session player, like, uh, before I had like my, my band. I used to, people used to hire me to play, right? And so, uh, 
So, I mean, there's times someone would hire you and they're paying you, but God, it was terrible. But you get there and there's like everywhere and you're thinking like, can we just finish so I can have my money? He wasn't playing in key with the guitars. Did you not practice with them beforehand? I always make that like a requirement. I won't play with a group. Unless like I know the players and I know they're solid and I can get the material ahead of time. Or unless I'm playing drums. Because originally I'm a drummer. I can, but once again, I just tell me what the songs are. Let me listen to them at least, and then I can do it. Um, but like there was, uh, there was this Christian artist who, who hired me. We used to play around all over Florida and stuff. And he, uh, and he was a pretty popular artist for his time. And uh, but he would hire me in Florida to play with him for at least for a while. I think it was for like a year, year and a half. We played together, and uh, we did a bunch of things in Florida. And but come to find out. Uh, when I went to the first show, like small world kind of thing, I knew the bass player, I knew the guitar player, and I knew the sound guy from like other things. Like I had like, yeah, I've been playing drums for like a long, long time. Like for more, I've been playing music since. I gotta think about it now. Since I was thirteen. And I'm going to be 31 at the end of the month. So, I mean, that's, that's quite a bit of time. You know, that's more than half my life now. It, it was really hard. I don't, and I, I hate saying, like, when I talk to people, like, don't give up. I'm like, I haven't given up. I'm just not, you know, like, God, being a musician is hard. And, and I don't want to make it sound like I'm a quitter or something like that. Because I'm now I'm putting a lot of hard work over here, right? So we're like, every night at 9, I'm here. I am streaming. I am... You know, like my spare time, I'm making thumbnails and I'm, uh, I'll am i put on YouTube and I'll, maybe I'll edit it or, or, you know, if something's not right, I'll, I'll try and fix it. I'll blur it out if it seems inappropriate to have up on the screen. Um, you know, like, it, it, there's just so many things that I'm trying to do to make this, like, a thing, you know? Uh, plus, too, I like that I'm, like, uh, chronicling the games that I play. You know, I, I like that, that I... I just collecting my experiences. You know, I can go back. If somebody were to be like, oh, what, what was that like? I'm like, I can show you. You know, let's go to YouTube. Here, oh, watch me stream at nine if you want to see this type of game, if you like it, you know? Or, like, in my case, we do this thing. It's like a top donator thing. And uh, whoever's my top donator uh, gets to pick a game. Oh, okay. So would you guys, would you guys just meet these these guys like at a show or something, or how, like how'd you meet like the drummer and the 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 guitarist, or or were they already friends of yours? Uh, I gotta figure out where I go next. I don't remember now. This is a little ghosty temple. I need to do something before I start fighting people in here. I don't remember. I don't remember! Oh no, would you disappear? I think everybody's playing Borderlands. Shame on everybody. Borderlands is dumb! I said it. Borderlands is dumb. We can't get into it. I've tried. You know, so maybe I should give it a second shot. I gave Destiny 2 a second shot. It wasn't that bad. Still really wasn't for me, though. Not my type of game. No, I knew him for years, and then I decided to, to get a band together with... Oh, oh, so you were in the band, too. What, what, what did you play? Or, or did you get the band to get, like, you got them to perform together? Oh, nice! What, uh, what genre is it? Work. A 
That's what mine was too. Do you have any um do you have any stuff online? My situation really sucks. We were getting ready Lou we were getting ready to release the album. It's just it just wasn't working out. That getting sick thing really kinda screwed me, but that's a shame. Well, I hope in the future I, I can show you some of my stuff, too. Like, I have stuff, but I, I don't... I'm in this weird stage of I don't know what I can and can't, and asset-wise, so I'm not going to get into that. But, um, but uh, yeah, it's... But, I, I, I mean, I miss playing. I miss performing already, and it hasn't even been that long. But, um... Once again, it is what it is, but it's fun, you know. I wouldn't, I don't miss it for the world. It, it was, it was my, it was my, you know, little boy dream to do it, you know. I think ever since I was thirteen, I, I think I turned thirteen, and I remember, uh, like my best friend, like hanging out with, and he was still my best friend. I met him at when I was thirteen, and him, him and I watching uh, Metallica's uh, live shit. Benjamin Purge box set that they had where they had like the two VHS tapes from uh, Mexico and then they had uh, or Mexico City and then they had the one tape from Seattle and then we watched Kiss Alive 1 through 3 uh, on VHS I mean, was your drummer just being a jerk? You know, throwing a fit like that? I mean, like, what, what? Oh, and what? to go, I mean, because it's just bands, like, you know, people leave and go on other projects, or, you know, maybe it's just not working out for them, or whatever, or, or even for the bands, you know, you got a corner of the person, like, hey, dude, your schedule's not really neat, you know, matching up, or whatever, and, uh, uh, uh we used to go, like, there'd be times, it almost kind of worked in our favor, too, because we'd, like, it always seemed like we'd lose our bass player. We lose a bass player, and then we go like months without anybody knowing. Like we would just like disappear. If we people would be hitting our Facebook, we wouldn't say anything. Like we just disappear, and then out of nowhere, we're like, book the show, new member, new sound, new song. Like it was just boom, boom, boom. And even for a while, like 2014, 2015, like we, uh, like rock rock radio in Florida was playing us for a while and stuff. It was, we had a, we had a little good run, nothing big though. Dang. It's hard to hear that, man. Yeah, that really, that really does kind of suck. But you guys didn't, you guys didn't replace them or nothing? I need something different with the side beam. Oh, after you answer that, I have a question for you, since you're a, a, a Twitch person. That, and see, that was kind of another thing with my band, too. We were, um, you know, my voice wasn't up, as up to par as what it was before having cancer. And uh, uh, it's kind of like relearning how to sing almost. It's really, so I learned how to scream again. Um, but, like, singing has been really hard. Like, I can do it, but it's not as, like, as, like, forthcoming, you know, as, as what it used to be, and it's just as what it is. But also, too, I think, I think the band wanted to go a little bit more power metal, and I think, uh, which I love power metal, 
but uh, I think I was kind of going a little bit more like um, cause we, I felt like we were just kind of like Metallica meets Trivium kind of sound uh, and I love both those bands but like I was kind of wanting, wanting to go even more into like a Trivium or almost like melodic death like in flames and uh, I think they were wanting to go uh, slightly more mainstream like wanted to stay like because we had a little prog element to it too like how like you know Master Puppets is Less metal and the guys. Oh, man. Yeah, I mean, well, hey, it's weird because the group I was with, it was almost like we were just like a bunch of nerds. Almost, and, 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 like I mean, we were all like super in the metal, but like, like we could care less. We were, we were like experimenting with like, like even like fusion stuff like that. Uh, we never performed. Well, there was one song we had like some like some fusion parts at the end, like some jazz fusion, a little like chill, but kind of experimental. But um, uh, I mean, for the most part, it was just metal, you know, just big ri big riffs, big chords, very very Metallica, you know. Um, just it had screaming, but and and I kind of my vocal arrangements kind of I kind of sound like Matt Heafy from Trivium a little bit um, when I sing and scream. But they wanted some someone like a more like high range vocalist, you know. Really? What does that do to your what does that do to your voice? Does it mess it up? I need to get this out. Oh my goodness. Let's cut the dog. I don't think I want to give up on this. Oh, does it? And I really actually, actually, I really like vegetables. But celery is just one of those that, like, even as a kid, I couldn't stand it. I can eat spinach though, like a, like a rabbit. I love spinach. I mean, vegetables do kind of taste weird, but they are good. I like salads, chicken salads. I feel like a typical American saying that. You know, vegetables. Oh, there's your key right there. That that's why. Water's like super good for your I mean water's super good for your period, right? As I sit here and drink a, a diet coke, you know. Full of aspartame. That's probably half my problem. Is what it is. So I want to ask you a question, all right? So you said that you're a, um, uh, okay, yeah, that you are a Twitch affiliate. What, um, what streaming software do you use? I use Streamlabs uh, OBS. What, what do you use? I, I, I don't mean to be a ball bluster, but like, I'm a can't, you know, I'm a cancer survivor. Watch out on those cigarettes, man. I know that's like a, like a, whew, you know, that's why a lot of people like it, you know, they like the breathing, but I'm just saying. But, I mean, what the hell am I saying? I'm drinking something with fucking aspartame in it, you know. I'm a, I'm a hypocrite, so I'm just saying, just be careful. Stream elements, okay. So... And so, okay, so you're using a different software. Um, is that one of their softwares? Because I know they recommend a few on their thing here. Uh, let me see here. Is this a connections? Oh, no. Streaming. Oh, okay, here. 
So it's not one of their recommended ones. Um, so, reason I ask, I don't know if you've had problems with this ever. It could just be stream nice. No, no, it's all good, it's all good. Um, so I, I'm just not familiar with that one. So, do you have issues with your notifications on Twitch? Mine almost never pop, ever, ever, ever. And it drives me insane. I can't get them to pop. But the other day, I went live, right? Played for like two or three hours, went to sleep, and then at five in the morning, uh, I had a friend text me. He's like, "Yo, are you are you trying to go live?" I'm like, "Dude, I'm, you're waking me up. What are you you know What are you what are you talking about?" He's like, "No, I just got a notification from Twitch saying you're going live." I'm like, "No." <laughs> I went live at 9, 9, 9 p.m. Eastern, you know, like, so, I, I you know, I, I don't know if there's, if you've ever had issues or have had to, like, go in and, you know, do something yourself or do, or do, or do your fans have to do something to get you to walk, you know, to get that notification on their phones or whatever, you know, or in an email. Because I, I know you can manually go in, man, manually go into your notifications, but so, but I figured I'd throw it out there since you know you're probably more. I, like I said, I've only been at this for about a month, so. Oop. Oh, yeah, that's probably for the best. I hate using this controller. Yeah, I feel like it's not a common issue, but there's a few people who online I have found who have it. I mean, like, it's a few to where I've maybe seen five. And here's the thing, nobody has an answer for it. No one. And then when I, when, uh, when I see a reply, it's everybody just says, oh, it's, it's Twitch just being wonky. You may just want to get everybody to join your Discord. And I'm like, uh, okay, you know, and that could be true. Oh, are you? Yeah, I don't know of any, well, I mean, there's emulators, but I, I'd have to like, if I want to stream like some of the original games, like you can't stream, I, actually, it's funny you can say that. I was tr trying to figure out how to stream my 3DS to Twitch, and then there's, yeah, I've got a Discord below. But, like, getting people to, to join my Discord is like pulling teeth. No idea why. I don't know why that's a big deal. I have my Facebook down there, my my Twitch, or my, my Twitter. Yeah, my Discord. My Discord pops. My Discord will say that I'm going live. No, I like, I like official. I like official. I like, so there is, there is a way. It's just, it's, it's pricey and it's old. Like, so, you could always run the, uh, well, one, they have those retro consoles that have HDMI out that you can play GBA games in, and, like, Game Boy games and stuff like that. Um, but if I was going to play any of the advanced games, I would probably just buy the, uh, I would buy the, um, Called the, the, you know how the GameCube had that the Game Boy expansion that you put underneath the console and just pop the disc in. I buy, I just buy one of those and just run the, I run component out and, or composite or whatever into a, uh, into a, a composite uh, capture card. That's what I would find. Just because I like official stuff, like it just seems like it runs better when it's like official. I don't know. I, I try to stay away from emulators. Like I'm not opposed to them because sometimes you just can't get games. Or like it, it's like there's a game you want to play and it's stupid expensive just because it's hard to get your hands on or... And like in, in a very unnecessary way, you know? Is that what do you stream? What is like your 
I just kind of stream anything, to be honest with you. Really wish somebody would, because wh whoever's my top donator tells me a game to play. Right, and this is what they told me to play uh, recently. I wish somebody would tell me to play Fallout. That's what I really want. But nobody's doing it. Nobody's doing it. Oh, it drives me insane. But sometimes I mess with them too, and I'll play games that I, I know they'll hate, and that I'll just troll them the entire time. Like I've been playing the Walking Dead, uh, the Walking Dead game recently, and my audience hates, hates. Walking Sims, and I love them. And I will play them, and they will. Tr we will troll each other back and forth, and it is the most hysterical thing I've ever seen. It is, it is quite funny, but it's funny how respectful we are about it, though, too. We're like, they think you know, it's cool, they think it's cool that I like it, but they hate the game, and they'll just be like, look how bad these graphics are. Why are they saying that? They're so boring. Like, they, they just mess with me the entire time. ETS? I'm not sure we... I'm gonna play dumb. I don't even know what that is. I'm a, I'm a huge gamer. I don't even know what that is. Now you got me, like, thinking. ETS 2. Oh, God. I feel like I gotta Google that now. S2. What is that? Euro Truck Simulator 2? What? That's a thing? That is a thing? See, this is where I wish the rest of my stream was here because they'd be trolling you. And it would be in a very friendly way. But that is like funny and awesome. Like, I gotta look at pictures of this. Why is this a thing? Is it fun? <laughs> oh, there's like name brands in here. There's a Mercedes. What? I've seen Daft before. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but that's how, what I'm calling it. This is like legit. Oh, look how you can customize it. That's kind of dope. I almost just said, are you a truck driver? But you said you don't work. But you said you can't work. Oh, there's a fire truck. My dad's a firefighter. He'd probably love that thing. If I were to show him that, he'd probably lose his mind. You can customize your dashboard? I'm kind of loving it. Just for the, 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 how you can customize it. These simulation games are like no joke though. Like a lot of these simulation games are like legit actually. But like you just gotta be one of those people like, I know a dude to, like, uh... Oh, do you really? Okay. Do you stream you modding it? Or do you just... Or, like, how, how do you, how do you, how do you capture it? Like, what, what is your... What is your thing? I got a new outfit. Some old lady gave me an outfit. We gotta change her clothes. Clothing. Can we get new clothes for Evie too? Or no? That's like a good like sidekick hat. He needs like a he needs like a little bow tie. If 
if I get a truck, I don't ask the chat. That is pretty cool. Oh, you know what? You just gave me a huge idea. Like, big. I'm a big WWE fan. Like, I love pro wrestling. And, um... Uh, they, they have a huge, like, uh, you can customize your, your wrestler. I mean, it's really, I mean, it's huge what you can do in it, right? And I should make a character with my audience. Because that would be awesome. I think they're going to hate that game, too. I don't know why I like to troll them so much. It is kind of fun. Eevee can't no. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna make this dude metal. Bones. Ooh! I am glad you're a wrestling fan. So, I, okay, okay. I'm too. So I'm two sided about it. Love Strowman. Love Rollins. Um. I, I, what I was really wanting to happen, e even the tag team title angle is okay. So, like, they did that, and you're like, okay, okay, see what you're doing here. Not a bad idea. This is fun. Let's roll with it, right? Then, the very next week on Raw, they do this silly thing, and they... they this oh, hey, thanks. I really appreciate that. Well, back to wrestling. I didn't mean to. I'm like a squirrel. I get all. Um. Oh, then I have a side question for you because you live in the uh, you live in uh, United Kingdom or England or whatever. Two separate things, but same thing, but not whatever. Um, but there's. Uh, then Rudolph wins, right? You have Rudolph with Robert Rude and and uh, and um, Dolph Ziggler, who I mean, like both of them too. That's cool, right? You're you're in Scotland. Okay, so that would be UK. That's because UK is the whole region of those islands or whatnot, if I'm not mistaken. Right? That's what you guys would consider UK is to be that whole air. Okay. I just want to make sure that I was... Because I... Everybody's so touchy on here too. So, well, not my audience. But, you know, people on the internet can get real like, I'm offended because you didn't say something right. Uh, so, I always want to make sure that I'm not saying something stupid. Um, but, so, yeah. So, I like to call it Rudolph. Right? Because you have Bobby Rude and you got Dolph. They're great. And apparently, the behind-the-scenes rumor is that Heyman, who's running Raw, behind the scenes is really high on Robert Roode. Is, this is him trying to give him a push. And I'm like, no, 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 no. We were giving the OC a push. The OC should be in this title match. Not Dolph and, and Robert Roode, who just magically became a tag team. If we want to give... Robert Rude a push, let's let's throw him in the US title match. Or like let's get him since you know there's no rules, wild card, let's get him over fighting Shinsuke for the IC. Or how let's start making real matches with the 24-7 champion. I don't even know who that is right now. I legitimately have no idea who the 24-7 champion is right now. Last, I think it's Drake Maverick. Right? Isn't it? <laughs> now I want to know. Hold on, I'm gonna look it up. But no, I. I so it, to, to answer though, I am genuinely uh, excited for the pay per view. Way too many matches. Wh whatever happened to just three hour pay per views? And you and I are old enough to. I don't know if they streamed over in the UK. I would assume they probably did back then. 
But did you, you ever watch like the in your like in your house back in the nineties? Oh, was it? Our, oh, yeah, because uh, uh, he snuck up behind him like two Smackdowns ago, right? And then like rolled up, rolled him up on the entryway behind where the King of the Ring chair is. This is the current champions. Way too many titles. All right, Rollins, Becky, AJ, Braun, and, and Rollins. Kofi, Bailey. I'm really liking Bailey's uh, little heel turn right now. Uh, Shinsuke, which poor Shinsuke. What an amazing wrestler. And I mean, and even Sami Zayn too. Here are two fantastic wrestlers. And we're just kind of like. Uh, Drew Gulak. Uh, Adam Cole, Bebe. Uh, Velvet Team Dream, Shayna Baszler, Undisputed Air's Tag Team, uh, United Kingdom, uh, Volter still, uh, Flash Morgan Webster and Mark Andrews, the UK Tag Champs, which I know. Did you see, do you watch, um, do you watch NXT UK by any chance? Oh, at 100%. 100%. So his NXT title run, amazing, right? Him and Joe, fantastic, right? He comes over and they start pushing him, right? Because really, let's be real, it's his song. It's his song. And they, they, they give him the Royal Rumble and you're like, fantastic. He's fighting AJ and you're like, fantastic. Oh, this is gonna be amazing. And then what happens? Subpar match at WrestleMania ends, ends in him kicking him in the nuts. And then he still wins. Stupid. Like, give me clean finishes. Especially, like, something like WrestleMania. Or did he do that afterwards? I don't even remember now. Either way, it's just, I remember being a slow match. I'm like, these guys don't wrestle slow. Are they just trying to hold it back? So that way, the main, ev the main event with the, with the women are really good? And even that was still, for how good all of those girls are... That was still even kind of like, uh, you know, I don't know. I mean, it was entertaining. Don't get me wrong. Nobody is never not entertaining. But, and then I see your comment here. You should be watching NXT UK because it's amazing. Just watch, go back and watch TakeOver from, was the weekend before? And watch uh, Volter who's the, the UK champ versus uh, Tyler Bate. Holy Jesus. Is that an amazing match? They beat the crap out of each other. And there's so many moments because uh, Tyler Bate's a little bit of a smaller dude. And he's just like defying awe. He's like freakishly strong. Like it's scary. Right? And I mean, he's just good. And so is Volter. Like, just, wow. Like, when I watch those guys, I'm just absolutely blown away. Absolutely blown away. And you were right, by the way. R-Truth is the 24-7 uh, champion. So I don't remember him doing anything on this past week at all. But then again, I admit, I watch... Do you hate Corbin? I I don't mind Corbin. There's a part of me that thinks they're gonna let him win. I think they're gonna give the King Ring to Corbin. I'm not kidding. I think it's gonna happen. So Vince, I don't know if you ever heard you heard this rumor or not. Um, so apparently the rumor is why Corbin gets pushes a lot is because he feels like women swoon over him. I don't think he's a bad looking dude, but I don't know if he's like, you know, like women are like fanning themselves, you know, like, or, or, even, or even men fanning themselves as he walks by, you know, like he's just kind of a normal looking guy. You know? Maybe they like the tats or something. I don't know. But. Huh. 
Who's the 17th time champ? Our truth Do you think he'll beat... If it's... Do you think he'll beat, uh... Do you think he'll beat, uh, Raven's... Raven's record? Raven held the hardcore title 30 times. It's the most championship reigns in WWE history. He's the best champion in WWE history. Raven. One title. Oh, no, technically there's the ECW titles, too. Those count, technically, I guess. The real top champion and probably best wrestler. Uh, I mean, I love the wrestler. I don't know if he's the best, uh, but like for Cock Punch, WWE titles and like, and, and that's that's including promotions that they bought too. Um, the the most reigns would be Edge. The most reigns out of any promotion would be Jerry the King Lawler, which is like two hundred and like fifty four reigns or something like that. I actually talked to him in person about it. I used to manage a, a, a Spencer Gifts uh, over here, and like back in the day, and he was a customer of mine. He used to come in all the time, and we would talk about things. I remember even having a conversation with him about this, and we was joking around. And he was like, "Yeah, they call you know they call Triple H the King of Kings." He goes, "I thought I was the King." I'm like, dude, you are. And I had, like, set a stat. I said, don't you have, like, 200, like, title reigns? And he goes, yeah, it's, like, 250-something. Uh, he goes, but WWE recognizes, like, 230 of them. And I was like, St that's still, like... He's like, even if we go by WWE's number, he's like, that's still the most. He's like, I don't know of anybody who has... Um, I don't know of anybody who has more. I was like, dude, you're the king. <laughs> <laughs> like, you've been around. Like, you've been doing this a long time. And you know what's awesome? Is he comes off as such a character on TV. He's such a chill dude in person. And he's so funny. He, like, fake punched me once. I was just like, oh, hey, King, what's up? And he's just like, what's up? And he comes at me with, like, a, a left round. I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> he's like, oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I remember seeing I remember seeing him after he had a heart attack, and I was just like, oh, are you, "How are you?" <laughs> like, yeah, he, he used to come to my store all the time. He used to come in with this like this. Um, he was like friends with this dude, and then they had like he had kids, not his kids, um, but like his his buddy had kids, and so they would come in. But they, his kids were like in their, I think, early twenties, maybe late teens. But they used to they used to just come to the mall, hang out, and it's so funny. I'm like, here is this. Superstar, literally, like one of one of wrestling's biggest figures. Just walk in the mall, walk in the mall, and every once in a while, somebody would say something, and he was so cool about it. Like he would say something, like if somebody would would be like looking, almost like is that Jerry King Lawler? He'd be like, "Hey, what's up?" And and they would be like, "Oh my God, you're the king!" He'd be like, "You want to take a picture?" Like he just knew, like people. You know, people get starstruck, you know? And they, or, you know, they get shy or whatever. My younger brother really wants... Taker is his favorite. Is his favorite wrestler. Yeah, he, he, he flew out... Because we, we all thought that, you know, the New Orleans where he fought uh, Roman was going to be his last match. Wasn't it at New Orleans? Right? Yeah, it was New Orleans. Yeah, he fought Roman at New Orleans. And, I mean, everybody thought it was going to be, be his last match. Even that's what all the rumors, even Taker was saying. He was done. And, until money. Right? Um, but, uh... Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. But, uh... What the hell was I saying? I don't remember. I'm trying to like turn my guy. Oh, there we go. That's cool. Um, yeah, he, he like flew out to New Orleans, bought tickets to WrestleMania, and uh, it ended up not being his last match, you know? But yeah, I think it's my. Uh, it, it, for me, it's a two sided street. Because what, what are people really dislike? You, you, you dislike the character, right? I admit, I did watch that Austin podcast with Brock on it. And then there were certain things where I was like, oh, 
Rock's just a normal dude. And there's other parts I'm like, oh, you're a jackass. You know, it's where, like, he made, like, a comment to where he's like, you know, I, this is a job for me. I, I really do this to provide for my family. I want to make sure my family has a good, you know, living. And I was like, oh, you know, I can relate to that. You know, oh, you know, cool. Good, you know, good for him, right? You know, you know what, what God doesn't want to provide for his, his, you know, for his family or whatever, right? But then he says something like, you know, Austin says something to him like, aren't you worried about hurting the guys? And he's like, no. Because if they get hurt, they get hurt. He's like, I'm not trying to hurt them, but that's on them. I'm just like, that's kind of a dick thing to say. You don't really want to hurt people, do you? Like, <laughs> you know, like. It, it, I, I think it's funny, too, that Brock, here's Brock's this huge dude, right? And, like, who's that guy who took him out in UFC Cornier or whatever? I'm, I'm not really a UFC person, but, like, that dude, like, had to beat the shit out of him. You know, like, beat him. And... You know, Rollins does a little, like, bloop, and he's, oh, I'm out, I'm out. <laughs> you know, like, that's it? <laughs> wow, that stomp is great, you know? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, I really, do you watch NXT at all? So obviously not NXT UK, but do you watch NXT? Why is that doing that? Because NXT, you know NXT, well, oh, you guys have, you guys don't have, uh, our American channels. So you guys have uh, Sky Sports and stuff like that. Oh, but it's... Is it leaving Sky Sports? You don't watch NXT? What are you doing? What are you doing? That is the premier brand of WWE. That... Seriously. That is the best brand of WWE. A absolutely, hands down, the best thing to happen to WWE fully run by Triple H and Shawn Michaels and Road Dogg and Michael Cole. It is amazing. Absolutely amazing that a develop a developmental brand is better than the main roster. So do you watch are you even watching New Japan then? Now that Moxley is in New Japan? Technically, his main contract is in AEW. And then he, he does side business with New Japan. So, I, I don't think it's true. There is a rumor, a rumor, that Moxley is going to do a, uh, a, a one-night thing with WWE for the Royal Rumble. At, uh, this coming up Royal Rumble. He'll, he'll be in the Rumble, but then that's it. So, let's see how far this rumor, this rumor goes. But I saw the rumor, and I was like, mm. But he's just taking, he's just taking gigs. And plus two, he has a contract with AEW. I don't think it's gonna fly. They don't have a relationship with WWE. Like, it's, it's, I, it's, I don't see how that's viable. AEW has a relationship with New Japan, and they did have one with ROH, but that one just ended. And, and, and Impact's trying to buy ROH right now. Well, the, the management company that owns uh, Impact is trying to buy our, is trying to buy the company that owns ROH. And here's a really cool thing that they talked about. It actually made me really excited. You ready for this? So they talked about if this thing happens, and it's not, so it's not a rumor. The, these two, the two management companies are talking to each other, but they said they're in the beginning stages. Now, these are rumors. Uh, the rumors are that they leave them two, two completely separate brands, two completely separate rosters. Like, they're just owned by the same management company. They don't even... But this works for WWE now, you know that? He's a, he's a producer backstage. But yeah, he was very much like a seven foot tall. Mick Foley. Um, so, with Impact and ROH, they're either going to stay separate brands, Impact will eat ROH, and it'll just become one brand. Or, you ready for this? They'll stay, it'll become like a Raw Smackdown. To where there's, there's ROH on one night, and then there's Impact on another night. 
They have their separate champions, but 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 uh, the wrestlers will be cross brand. Like they'll go back and forth, kind of how Raw and SmackDown do. I still can't believe you don't watch NXT. Do you not have WB Network? You have to have WB Network. What are you doing with your life? You should probably stop watching my stream and go watch TakeOver. Oh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Nope. <laughs> You've got me so, like, worked up now. I'm a big... Are you excited about the new WB game? Totally streaming it. That's sad. Why do Pokemon's gotta... Wait, why Why do Pokemon's die? Can't they just... Don't just go back to the Poke Center? Or is there, like, a... Like, a, a point of no return, you know? Oh, what... Why are we back here? What, what do you want, Eevee? I love you want some more fruit? Is that what you want? No, I'll give you more fruit. There you go. Good weirdo. Depressing. Oh, I see. If I waggle mine. Right. Oh, there's Gary. Gary. Huh. God. What? There's a new game every year. Every year. Have you have you not seen it before? Seriously, have you never seen the 2K games? I can show you the 2K games if you if you want to see it. I'll have to, you know, switch my console or whatever, but... You're getting me a little, like, wrestling crazy right now, I have to say. I want to, like, find some, like, old wrestling games to play. Why? Why can't you play Gears? It's on Game Pass. Let's get Game Pass. Easy. Solved. I just solved your problem. Game Pass. Boom. Done. Go play. I bought the Gears console. It's beautiful. I love it so much. That's empty now. I've been yakking away this entire time. Oh, I gotta save again. Did I save yet? I don't even remember now. That's what I get. No Xbox because my brother broke it. That sucks. I'm very sorry. That's poopy. Um, I'm sure you could send it. I mean, it's obviously gonna cost money, but like, I'm sure you could send it off to... To Microsoft to get fixed. I'm sure they have some sort of repair station in the UK. Um, do you, do you have a good do you, do you have a good gaming PC? Because if you have a good gaming PC, you just get just get Game Pass for PC. Boom, cost you ten, what ten bucks? Boom, you're in the gears. You don't have to answer that. That might be inappropriate. I'm sure your, your son's young, you know. 
you know, if it takes, well, I mean, kids in general, I mean, even if they're older, can take up a lot of time, you know. I get it, man. I mean, kids are great. I mean, wrong. I, I don't have any, but, I mean, kids are wonderful, but, I mean, it, it is what it is, you know, like, they're four. Yeah, so, they're still at that age where they need a lot of attention, you know, versus, like, a teen, it's still a lot of work, but you can kind of let them, you let them be, you know. You, you get some of your free time back, but you still got to give them rides everywhere, you know. But, that's awesome. That, that's truly awesome. You know, I haven't had that that, uh, that joy in life yet to have. Uh, I don't know if I ever will. I'm not really concerned about it either way, but, you know, I, it's definitely a really cool thing. See, I think it would be cool. I always thought if I had kids, like, I'd, I'd probably, like, try to, once they get old enough, I'd, like, play, like, the Lego games or something with them. Always thought, that's always thought that'd be cool. But then all, all my all my buddies who have kids just were like, dude, don't have any kids. I love my kids. Don't have any kids. I'm like, okay. Is it that bad? <laughs> even, my, even my girlfriends will say that. They'll say, like, yeah, you don't want to have any kids. You know? I'm like, doesn't your, doesn't your man help you out? I'm like, yeah, but still, you don't want to have any kids. All right. I'm, I'm cool with my video games and my guitars, you know? Why can't I? Whoa, hey, what are you doing there? Whoa! We should fight our Pokemon! <laughs> oh, dang. gotta ask this and I don't mean this in like a creepy way or anything. Are, are you, were you the one who gave birth to the child or no? <laughs> Cause I'm trying to think of like, are you having aches and pains because you gave birth to the child? Or are you having aches and pains just from life or the bed or holding the baby or, you know? Hey, so I'm not saying it would be a weirdo or anything. I really could care less, but... Yeah, go Mew! Mew, 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 Mew! Oh, wait, what's this? You medically cannot have kids anymore because of that? Holy moly. Are you saying that just to it, like exaggerate, like it was that painful? I need someone with lightning. that hard, you know? Like, like, Jesus. I, I don't know if I can, actually, after, after going through chemo. I have no idea if I can. They want me to go see, like, a, like a, like a fertile person. I'm like, why? I'm not trying to have kids. I really don't, I mean, like, I'd like to have the option, but, like, once again, if I never do, I'm not crying over it, you know? Whatever. But, like, at the same time, like,
I'm, dude, I'm right there with you. I'm 6'1", so I mean, I'm, I'm right there with you. Child's doctor say, <laughs> quit feeding him. You ever thought about stunting his growth? <laughs> Maybe he can play U.S. basketball. <laughs> do they have basketball? Uh, I feel like there's a stupid thing to say. Oh yeah, they do because they have they have basketballs in the Olympics. I'm a dumb dumb. Don't listen to me. I don't, I don't watch sports. I play video games. What do I care? Bye bye. Check out that. <clears throat> I just don't remember being that tall when I was young. But I, I've been like six foot th ever since I was like 12, though. <laughs> like, <clears throat> once I hit 12, I was just like, Poof. there's puberty. <clears throat> I want to check out that. That streamer, you said you use street elements? <laughs> Does your, um, when you stream with with that software and you go live on Twitch, does it does it pop your notifications for your audience for you? <laughs> it's gonna be a pain in the ass for the birds and the bees to talk. <clears throat> Sorry, I put like little, uh, <clears throat> I put like auto mods on there. But I, tr I try to keep it as, as peaceful as possible. That way, if there would be like a kid or something. You know, plus it's like a rated E game too. Like, it was like an M rated game. I wouldn't really care. But that, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> but, I mean,. Dude, in my chat though, my some of my guys say some really awful things. Like awful, awful things. And we're just like, and then they take competitions on who can be worse. 
<clears throat> no, 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 you're fine, dude. No, you're good. You don't don't censor yourself. Say what you want to say. You know, I I'm not opposed. You know, I don't think what you said was wrong. Anyway, you know, that's just, it's just an auto mod. You know, like it just I just said it to be like, you know, take things that are inappropriate out. So just that way, if I'm like, you know, like caught in the middle of something. <clears throat> what do you what do you mean by that, Jess? Okay. Just like my mod. I think I'm a, there's a part, I, I mean, I like using Streamlabs, but it's just irritating me that I go live and I've got, you know, 20 something followers and, you know, I have to like almost count on my, on my mod person to show up in order to get people in the chat. Like once he's there, people start flying in, but like, but then, and then even my Twitch too, like it, I'll have like five, six, seven people in the chat, and it's like, you only have two people. Like, right now, I think it's telling me I've... Uh, how many people to say I have? Well, I guess it is just you and me. So that does kind of make sense. Let me see here. Yeah, it's just saying one. Which, that, I guess that makes sense. Because it really has just been you and I kind of just chilling and talking. I really do appreciate you, by the way, uh... Uh, jumping in here. It, has, it actually has been quite a bit of fun. I'm really glad I find somebody who likes wrestling. Because anytime I bring up wrestling, they're like, oh my god, you watch that stuff? I'm like, hell yeah, I watch that stuff. It's awesome. What do you got, dorks? I love this music. It's cool, man. So, once again, another kind of personal question, but you don't don't feel like you gotta answer it either. I'm just curious. As, cause what, it's affiliate and then you become a partner, right? Do you, uh, do you make revenue from, as an affiliate? Cause right now, if I make any revenue, it's, it's from people just donating. It's not like, there's nobody, like I can't use bits or anything like that. Oh, that's cool. Is it? Do you do you do well at making? Like I'm not I'm not looking for numbers or anything like that. Cause like that's inappropriate. But I'm saying like you know is it is it just like oh it's just a little bit or is it actually? Because I've put in like let me let me put it to you like this. Where's my where's my Twitch? Dude, I've done I've done 56 streams in a month. <laughs> uh, where's my Where's my, here, I'll, I'll, here, let me go to my analytics real quick and I'll tell you. Where's my... Oh, it's under cheap, that's what I'm looking for. Uh, so in the past 30 days, I put in 68 hours in... Yeah, 68 hours. That doesn't seem like that's right. Because it says 68.66, and it's going by hours. So, I mean, I feel like I stream a lot. And it says that, uh, it looks like my consecutive days have been 28 days straight. So, like, I've been trying to be, like, super consistent about streaming. Like, not missing... Uh, 
Oh, really? Do you do you stream that much though, or no? I mean, you probably are, aren't able to with having a having a kid. I'm not, you know, trying to say anything, but I mean, I can imagine it's probably hard. You know? Well, here, dude, I'm gonna let me find your channel, dude. I'll follow you, dude. Okay. I'm hoping that in like within the next month I'll become an affiliate. Because it seems like my channel's like is progressively growing, but And dude I, I completely get going on hate hiatus, dude. I don't Dude, if this wasn't, like, my, my job, you know, not, like, a part-time gig, like, I don't think I, and I had, like, a family and, like, a wife and kids, dude, I don't think I'd be able to do this, dude. I don't think I would have been able to do music. Like, it was hard enough trying to do music this, and that's why, well, another reason why I kind of stepped away from doing music. I just followed you, though, man. Let me get your thing. Oh, that's right. You got, you got me on your thing. <laughs> nice. Dude, I love that you have Pokemon cards for your... Like, that is an awesome, awesome idea, dude. Like, straight up. That is so cool. Oh, my goodness, dude. I'm in love with the way your channel looks, dude. Oh god, that's so awesome. Dude, my dude, my channel looks like poop compared to yours, dude. Good lord, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Nothing. We gotta do something. A rock throw. Sue Sam attack. What do you uh What do you do Oh that's right, you said you don't work. Are you, are you like staying home? Are you like taking care of your kid right now or? And what's that one in the that one in the center there? I can't Let me pull up my stream lab maybe like I can see. Oh, this is raid. Is that a blue Charizard in there? That's pretty cool. get those things too, aren't I? I'm gonna have to do all the emotes and stuff once I become an affiliate. How did you do yours? Did you make them yourself or did you, uh, 
Or did, or did you uh, commission them to get them done? Again, yourself. Was it really hard to do? Doesn't seem like it'd be hard to do. Oh, it is hard to do? Oh no, I'm reading it. I thought you wrote it again. He did. Hey, somebody else joined us. What up? Feel free to join in the chat. We can talk about a whole bunch of crazy stuff. A lot of just, uh... I don't know if it's even crazy. We're talking about Pokemon. We're talking about WWE. We're talking about everything. Kids. Brothers. Being kicked in the... Being kicked in the, the, the areas. Oh, okay. We just use like Photoshop or something? Probably not that hard then. I think I already know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a bunch of funny faces and then put my faces out of them. I have to put a poop emoji in there because we have a, a big ongoing joke about poops. And kazoos. I'm actually enjoying the music more as I enjoy the game. <laughs> He's gonna kill this stupid thing. I need something that's gonna do a ground attack. I need my I need my diglet is what I need. Ugh. Whatever. We'll just we'll just keep right on out here. To say who has a haircut like like that like a kid behind the, the right shoe? And then I realized it's an anime game and nobody has hair like anime characters. Unless you're like a New Japan wrestler, then you definitely have hair like an anime character. There's some guy that has like like a super fancy haircut that like he totally looks like an anime dude in New Japan. I can't think of his name. So the or something like that. I have to look him up. I don't know. I just love that like North American wrestlers go over to Japan and become huge stars. <laughs> I don't know if like like Japan just has like a fascination with the U.S. or something, and then parts of the U.S. has like fascination with Japan. Oh, I didn't even see who we're gonna switch to. No, I feel like I'm not dumb. We'll just, we'll just switch to somebody else. Nah, we'll keep right on. Who's coming up? Gloom. That was probably a bad choice. Has she ever been to Japan? Have you ever been? Ah, that's what I want to do! I want to know, like, my Pokemon stats. Oh, perfect. Nope, neither have I. I'd love to go. Dude, I would love to just, like, to go to, like, Akihabara. And just start at like the very far end of the street and just make my way all the way down, cross the street, and then make my way all the way back. I wanna walk that Shibuya thing like you see in like Persona. I mean like you see everywhere, but like. And I wanna go right when like spring starting when all like the cherry blossoms are popping up right after winter. 
Dude, it would just... Oh, man, dude. I know that's not in the, like, the city, but it's on the, like, the outskirts, right? Um... Yeah, dude, man. I, I really, really would love to go. And it's funny, because there is, like, there's actually tourist tracks that are, like, meant for people, like, the tourists to go. And I want to go to all those places. Like, I want to go to the Poco Center in Japan. Hell, I'd love to go there. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. I just... Dude. It just seems like it's... Now, I will say, I don't know if I'd want to live there, though. Like, I like the way, like, when I, when I read about Japan, like, I love how people are, right? Like, I love, like, the culture and, like, the idea of it. But then, like, there's something about... And I, and I don't know how, like, what it's like over in Scotland or in um, the, the UK and, and the EU and stuff. But, like, dude, Americans are, like, super outspoken, right? And, like, a lot of Japanese people, they're, I don't want to use the word timid, but, like, they kind of keep their opinions to, like, their, themselves. Because they don't want to, like, burden people. And Americans are like, no. This is what I believe in. This is what it is, right or wrong, and like, ev like, do most Americans are like that? And that's where I kind of like, I've never been, man. And and here's the thing too, like, I always hear cool things about Scotland, but then there's never like, there's never been anything for me to say. Oh, I want to go to Scotland. Like what? Oh, Americans definitely prideful. But it's not necessarily like a bad thing though either. It can be bad because sometimes they won't be open-minded to things like an ideas. But the good side of it is though too is like we'll slant like even if we're like I can't believe we're doing this. The second somebody who's not an American says something bad, we're like you hold your tongue. You're not allowed to say crap. And I would say Japan is too, but on the complete other spectrum, right? Like. To where they take such pride of like not the litter, you know, versus kind of like I hate to say in the states, it's kind of like we have programs for that. We have a program for like everything, and it's kind of I don't like that because it takes kind of like the ownership out of it. And I really like that about Japan. I'm like, there's just certain things culturally you do and don't do. Uh, but I, like I said, I, I believe in free speech and like you know, and I know a lot of countries have that, but like. A lot of countries don't too, you know? Like you just, you can't say certain things. And uh, you know, it's always frightened me to like, I, I've, I've never left the country, but I would love to see other countries. And, um, I mean, even more of my own country, I would love to see because America's so big. But like, but uh, you know, like, I, I, I don't know if I would ever live, and I know it's harder if you're not a citizen of that country, it's harder to live in another country, but like, I, I, you know, like the thought of like taking a job overseas or something like that always, um, I'd be open to it. I definitely would. Um, but I mean, one, I love my country, but also two, like, uh, there's, you know, like there's just certain things that like America has that like a lot of other places don't have. And I worry of that, of like me being a certain way. Does that work? for those people and like would I make other people uncomfortable and like like here nobody really cares <laughs> like I live in Florida everybody's a beach bum here in Florida you know nobody cares and I'm on the west coast of Florida so we're even more like I'm where all the retirees are you know we're <laughs> I'm, I'm a young dude I'm 31 and I'm you know I'm, I'm around every bunch of people who are retired all day you know I mean it's not my job but I'm saying like you know you, you go to the store you know, like the grocery store the but old people walking around or like, so it's quiet, but it's not, there's nothing exciting going on. Uh, so, not really, in all honesty. I have it on my phone. Uh, when this game got announced and they said you could port characters of this game, I played the hell out of it. Uh, when I was going through, when I was going through chemo, I played it a lot because it was like the only way for me to like, I would force myself to get up and walk around. Uh, cause I just felt sick a lot, so I'm like, well, you know, I might as well play a game while I'm walking around, you know? So I play Pokemon Go and walk, just to try and get some sort of movement. 
because I, I was just like laying in bed almost the entire time. So it was like it was a good way. So that's like my good memory of, of that game. Uh, but I haven't hit the part where you can import the characters yet. Apparently, you got to get to like this area or something. Samsung uh, Galaxy uh, uh, S10 Plus or whatever, or whatever they call it. It's whatever the nice version is. And so, you know, it has like the Google Store, like the Play Store, right? And then it has their own store, like it has a Samsung store too, right? So there's a Pokemon game in the Samsung store. It's called Pokemon Evolve. It is definitely not in any way, shape, or form. Made by. <laughs> it's n that was a good Pikachu. Okay. Were, were you, did you, did you, have you beaten the game? So, uh, I almost wanted to play that game tonight, right? Uh, but you couldn't choose a, because it's not like an officially licensed game. It's not affiliated with Twitch anyway, so you can't select it as a as a game. You have to have an option to select. And like, if the game is too new, they may not have updated it yet. She's chaining. Oh, probably training. What's up, man? Why'd you have a Why'd you have a weird night? You, are you okay? Or was like you need like a weird night streaming or? Oh, is it? Nice suit. Did you get all that banjo stuff you were telling me about? <laughs> they, do they throw you in like jail or something? Can't they do that in that game? Or do they like, put you in like a little jail, put you in timeout? The shiny came in and despawned. I don't know what that means. Oh, 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 you're talking about, okay, you're talking about Pokemon, sorry. I, my brain went to Sea of Thieves. Uh, the shiny came in and then despawned? I don't... I actually, I bring my statement back. I don't, under, I don't understand what that means. Nope, the banjo stuff costs real money, but so do the pets. What? You should make that a part, like a donation thing. Make, you know, make it like you're advocating people to, to, um, like we gotta get the banjo stuff. Give me ten bucks. Somebody give me ten bucks. Oh, really? Wait, wait, wait. So she caught? So was she doing the thing where you, you keep catching the same creature over and over, right? The same Pokemon? And then it eventually, like, a shiny will pop up, right? Nom, 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 I'm not sure what that actually does. Bought a pet monkey and we were fucking around. We found out you can wait, 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 you can launch some monkey out of the cannons. What? Hey. <laughs> Dude, don't let Peter see that. Don't let Peter see that. Peter, can... dude, Peter drives me freaking nuts. Like, look, I get the whole like respect life. Totally down. She chained fun. She's still. That's dumb, dude. Like, 
That's probably just a glitch in the game when that happened. So, with uh, a legend. Did you ever... Do you remember a few years ago when Obama was president? That uh, he was doing that... He was doing that press conference outside. And he had like the... He had like a long sleeve shirt and it was rolled up, right? His sleeves. And Obama's talking. And a fly lands on him. And he's just like... BAM! Like super commando like kills this fly. Like, just smacks his arm. And, and I mean, you see like... And dude, PETA was on his ass. And dude, it was the dumbest, the dumbest thing. And I'm like, look, anything that invades your space, you you have complete reign of destroying. Just like if, alleged, if I come on your property without you, you say, hey, I invite you to come on. You have every reign to pull out your gun and be like, yo, look, you're a cool dude. Why the hell are you here? <laughs> this isn't a video game. This is real. Like, no. No. But yeah, dude, those, those PETA people went nuts. Once again, I'm not saying we should go out of our way to sit here and kill bugs or animals or plants or whatever, but like, look. You, you, gotta fly, you got flies crawling over you. You're going to have to kill it. Sorry. Oh, yeah, dude, that's... I think it's funny as hell, dude. Launch a monkey straight out of here. I would name the monkey PETA. I would hashtag PETA. <laughs> See, what would happen is PETA would demonize you in the press, and then what would actually happen is you would... You would you'd become like a millionaire overnight because everybody would just like join your Twitch page and everybody would watch your videos and you, they have to hit your ads. And you'd just be a millionaire overnight. <laughs> I would put that, dude, make that a high, seriously, make it a highlight and put that everywhere, dude. Hashtag monkey shooting. <laughs> Hashtag monkey cannon. <laughs> it's so dumb. But it's so great. See, saying something like that kind of makes me want to play. But dude, I am just... And, and one, first off, I'm not in the Pirates. And then second of all, dude, I'm really sorry that, like, I'm such a weirdo. And, like, I love my single-player games. And I always feel so guilty when you ask me to play a game. And I'm like, well, I don't want to play. I get, I almost get like self-conscious, dude. Seriously, when people ask me to like play games with them, I really feel self-conscious. I know that's really stupid, and it's stupid because I used to stand up and, on a stage and it'd be, you know, I, I've played festivals with with hundreds of people there, having not a care in the world, dude. Online games, dude. I just, I don't, man. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. The only one that I really, really liked, and it's the one that everybody doesn't. I love Fallout 76, dude. I love Fallout 76. And I think it's just because I'm a big Fallout fan. But like, dude, there's something about like just online games, dude, that I just don't. You know what it is? I'm not really competitive. And I feel like I have to be competitive. And I'm not. And see, Fallout Online isn't competitive at all, you know? I will say that that game that you were playing with your that that dude the other day that shadow uh, what was that shadow game you were playing the other day? You sent me the video on. I can't remember what it's called now. Um, I don't have it written down. Yeah, there you go. Hunt shadow. Yeah. Uh, that seemed pre that seemed pretty cool. I want to see more of it. Like I want. Oh. Excuse me. Yeah, I need the. I think I need to see. Oh, no. We're not battling right now. I need to check out my Pokemon before we battle. Um, I'll probably stream myself. Well, you, you go on before me, right? You go on before 9, right? And, I, if I'm being super honest, too, I would be more open to playing a lot of these games, too, if they were on Xbox. Now, I will say, 
I know that you said like uh, Rocket League is crossplay, dude. I'm telling you, it would be very bad if I played Rocket League. You'd probably have to tempt me with something like Fallout. But even then, dude, my channel is pretty much dictated by my fans right now. Dude, they love the they love this whole like donation thing, dude. The my, the top donator thing, like even this. I mean, I love Pokemon as is. I play Pokemon on my own, but like this was all them. All right, dude. I know it's I know it's like super. What is it your time now? Like four o'clock in the morning. But dude, hey, dude, thanks for coming in, chilling, chatting, dude, getting the getting to know you, dude. And you know, hopefully, dude, I. I uh, I'm nine o'clock every every night Eastern time. So, dude, if you're up, I know you said you got a kid and stuff. So, I know it can be hard, but dude, if you're up, you ever want to hop in the chat? And sorry, there's not more people. I think most people are playing Borderlands right now. Um, but yeah, dude, feel free. You know, uh, nine o'clock Eastern time every every night, every night. So, yeah, man, dude, nice getting to know you. Nice talking wrestling with you. Are you uh, a legend? Are you so you be, you being like a big uh, uh, a big PC person, right? Um, oh, I have another question for you too. After I ask you this, being a big PC person, um, uh, are you a? Because I'm not really a PC person. Are you like a Steam only kind of person, or do you do you just kind of go wherever? Because my I have, but I'm not really a PC person. But I have games. Like, everywhere on PC. Actually, I have, a, I have a lot of old PC games that I have in storage. Okay, so mainly Steam. I think that's kind of how, like, anybody who plays PC is kind of like that. But, dude, I'll say dude, Ep the Epic Store dudes is starting to come along. I, I wish more people gave, gave a good old uh, GOG. I wish more people would give GOG a chance. Because I actually think, personally, I think that's the best platform. But even for me, that's that's the one I least use. I think I own, like, two games off GOG. Because, like, by the time... Like, they're cool about getting the old games in quick, right? If you, if you like old vintage PC games, they'll be the first to have it. And they're DRM-free, which is really cool. So if you're really big in the modding community, that's... The way to go. Uh, that or like the Bethesda launcher, if, if you're wanting the mod, like a Bethesda game. But like, other than that, like Steam's the like really to an extent Steam's the way to go, and then Epic's probably next. Um, yeah, yeah, it's even there. Let's see, Epic, and then but Epic's doing it smart, dude. They're doing all the exclusives right now, man. Like they're doing uh, even Borderlands right now, dude. Is 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 exclusive on uh, on Epic, dude. I I say good good for them, man. Dude, that's how, dude. They're learning from the console wars right now, dude. That's how you how you secure games, dude. Like, cause think about it, dude. What? Why do more people buy Playstations over Xbox? It's not it's not because dude Xbox One X is is physically and visually a better console. But do they have the, you know, the better first-party games? No. That's why more people own PlayStations. You know, it's not, it's not, I mean, because really, if, it, if somebody wanted the best, best, best experience, we'd all just own PCs. Let's, let's get real, right? But, you know, but, you know, or someone like me, I don't like, you know, I like a controller, and not every game on PC is controller-based. So, you know, you got to have a console at that point. Or if you want like a proprietary unit, you gotta have a. That's actually back in the, back in like 2015. That's why I bought a Steam machine. If you remember those, because I, I like proprietary products. I still have it. It's an Alienware Steam machine. I need to put Windows on it, but is that? Um, because I, I know I know you you have some like uh, disabilities and stuff. Uh, do you? Is it is it is it easier for you to use a controller? Or is it easier for you to use a uh, a keyboard? Because you do have you, you do have some physical disabilities, right? Mm -hmm. 
I don't know, but I, because I thought you said you did, but I've seen you do push-ups. That's that's why I always like trip me up. I'm like, wait, I always thought, <laughs> I always thought this dude was like, how the hell is he doing a push-up? He's just stronger than me. <laughs> Depends on the controller. If you can remap it. Have you? Um, and I mean, really, you're not. You're really not that bad off, you know? Like, because I... I th have you seen Xbox has that new uh, adaptive controller? For people who've got, like, like really bad issues, do they've got... They've got a lot of really cool things, dude, for people who... Who've got, like, some serious shit going on with them, you know? Have you ever heard of, like, Able Gamers and stuff? Dude, they do, like, amazing things to try and help people play games, too. Like, straight up, dude. Like, just help people feel fucking normal. You know? Like, it's hard. Like, dude, life's so hard as is, dude. And, like, can you imagine, like, being balanced like a chair or something like that? You really can't move too much. And, uh, Able Gamers, you know, they had a good level three article. Yeah, dude, they're straight up, like, like, when I. Any of my any of my uh, my PC games, if it's available, I buy it through Humble Bundle, and uh, that's that's my charity of choice is um, is uh, Able Gamers. Dude, they're they're uh, well when it comes to when it comes to like buying stuff at Humble Bundle and like a game based charity. Um, I know Extra Life's like the big one, but like, dude. I just think that's some like like awesome awesome stuff because like like I have a disability. It's not a physical one. It's a it's a mental one. Like I have I I have a uh, like a processing issue with my brain. So like I can't. So like if you were to give me like let's say you were to be like yo Tad, I need you to do A B C D. I need you to go to the store and buy these things, right? I'll be like cool, got it, and I can even like repeat it back to you. Like okay, cool, got it. A B C D. You need to buy these things, right? And then I'll go to the store and I'll buy two of two of those things and I'll come back and be like, here are the things you asked me, you know, you asked the, you asked me to buy, and you're like, dude, I asked you to buy ABCD. I'm like, no, you didn't. And I've actually gotten to like heat their arguments with people. And then like people will somehow like prove it to me, and I'm like, oh shit, I, I don't I don't even remember that conversation. You know, I just remember you saying, Can you do this? And then like the other two just get wiped from existence out of my brain. Do you have a mental disability? I thought you just had some physical limitations. I mean, not to get like super per, I mean, I don't mean to, you know, invading your, your business. I don't even know what that is. Here, I'm gonna Google that real quick. Sorry for my ignorance, dude. No, it's cool though. Like, I, it's a learning lesson, you know. Let's see here. Oh, it's paralysis. Okay. Oh, you have told me that too. Yeah. So, so it affects, it affects you mentally, which is, because you have, you have an issue with one of your arms, right? Because your brain on this side of your body is basically like not communicating correctly then, right? Is that how that works? Because, because it's incomplete with your spinal cord. Whoa, dude, that's some fuck shit, dude. Does it really? Shit, dude. I'm sorry, man. That's... I mean, dude, everybody's got a challenge in life, you know? You know, so... Some people, it's not even a disability. Their disability is that they're, you know, born in the ghetto and they gotta crawl their way out, you know? Everybody's got a challenge, you know? I, I'll say this, dude. At least that when I went to school, like, when I was young... When I was young, I had to go to, uh, and I went to public school. 
uh, in, in Hillsborough County in, in like the Tampa Bay area when I was a little kid. And, uh, and in Pasco County too, which is still the Tampa Bay area. But like, um, but growing up in like the Tampa Bay area, the, they had this, they had like an ESC program that I was a part of. And so like they put, they did all these like tests on me cause I like wasn't working well with like normal kids or whatever. And then like they would like do these things to like work on different like motor skills. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so you went through the exact, so you had an IEP and everything and. So I'm sure you have a thing through like Vogue Rehab then through the state, don't you? Okay. Yeah, so you went through, you, so you probably went through the same experience as a kid. And I was in like both, like I was in like normal classes with kids and then uh, they would pull me out and then work on like exercises. So like, even though, like I'm really smart with math. Like my brain is all like, like dude, it's like uh, that movie, A Beautiful Mind, dude. My mind's kind of like that, how he can just like, he like does math in weird ways to figure out. They let you go? Why? Did they get you a job? Can they do that? Cause that, dude, that's a state program. I feel like I'm not even playing this game. I talk, dude. I talk way too... That's why my streams suck, dude. I talk way too much, dude. But I like talking to you guys. It's fun. Um, they got me a better job longer than a year. I had a job, but then I had to quit after my... Yeah, weren't you... Um... Oh. That's when you were working on Publix, right? And then another side note. Your your arrhythmia is that is that attached to your your paralysis or no is that is that two different things? Dude, that's some crazy like. And I'm sitting here as like a like like a cancer dude. I'm like, thank God I don't have that. And like I've been through my own bullshit, you know. But at least mine's. I mean, it's gone, but like I'm still going through stuff. Man, dude. Shit, man. That's crazy, dude. But you, you know what, dude? You know what? You know what's the really good the good thing about you and I going through like, and dude, you, dude, you've had it, you know, your your whole life. At least with my my learning thing, dude. It's just a learning curve. That's what I always tell people. Like, so, like sometimes I'll stutter because my brain can't like keep up. But like I, like I'm fine. I'm fucking normal. It's just. I gotta, you know, I, I'm, I'm just not normal, you know, I'm a, like, like, you know what, the, the other day, dude, like, cause I deal with retention at my job, and so, my job was like, hey, we, we want you to do this new approach to how you reach other customers, make it something like this, and so I was like, okay, so I took their idea, and they basically said, here's our idea, make it work, right? And so I made a whole like Excel sheet of how like the process is. And then I put all our clients in there and dude, I'm trying to explain it to like my manager and she's just staring at me. She goes, Tad, you're a psycho. And I'm like, no, this is just how you check every, you know, this is all my checks and balances. She goes, Tad, there's no reason you free to have like 15 ways of checking to make sure one thing is going right. I'm like, well, we have to know. And dude, I'm just like, like my mind does all these like weird things to like find a normal answer. And it's a lot of work, but like it's the only way my brain, it's how my brain works. Well, would you, so I can't find a real job. That's why I stream and write books. There's nothing wrong with that, dude. Dude, this, dude, anybody tells you this isn't a real job is fucking stupid. Dude, the fact, dude, look, and, and I say that because I'm also a musician. Oh, what'd you find for me? Look at the little present! <laughs> I appreciate it. You little sweet thing. Um, it, it's because, dude, I, just being a musician growing up, dude, 
anybody would say like, oh, you can't make you can't make money as a musician. I'm like, look at Metallica, look at Kiss. Ki- Kiss is the best example of like, yes, you can make money as a musician. Different time, different way of doing it, but like, there's more options now. But now there's more people doing it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that! It's called a formal hat. That's what the game calls it. But yeah, dude, it's it's it it it's not. But you know, life isn't easy. I really I really hate that people put people down like that. So I will say that any art like gaming or being an author, art is hard, you know? It, it's not, a very select few get to do it, but like, dude, look at Ninja, you know, who's like one of the top streamers in the world, dude makes millions of dollars a year. Not, not, and not that that's my goal either, I would love to do this full time, but, and I, I'd love to make millions of dollars, but I'm also not like a really greedy dude to where, dude, it, really, if, if I made like three million dollars in a year, I would do. I would plan out the rest of my life, and I would say, okay, how much more do I need, and then I'm out, and I'd be done, dude. I would just probably disappear after that. I'd fucking disappear. I'd, I'd be like Seinfeld, dude. I'd go out on top. I'm out, guys. I'm out, and I would do share the wealth. Be like, it's somebody else's turn to make millions of dollars. You know, I've made my. I've made my. Oh, I hate that it keeps jumping. You know, I've made my millions of dollars. I'm, I'm good, you know? Also, and see if these, uh, you can pet the pets even with a hook hand, really? <laughs> I guess you could use the, 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 the curve, the curvature of the hook, the, the pet ear. I bet you a cat would like that, you know? Like, you know, it curls his tail up. Yeah, you know what, dude? Yeah, once again, though, dude, I, I don't... I have learned there's certain jobs I'm just not good at because of my the way my mind works, and uh, I'm I'm really good with like systematic or task-based jobs. Um, like I'm good at being a manager, but I'm good at being I'm not and honestly I'm not good at being like the top manager of like a place. Anytime I've been like a top manager of something, I've actually done a very poor job. When I'm like the number two manager, I super excel because usually. What are you? You're the workhorse manager. And somebody's like, like at Guitar Center, that was me too. So like somebody would hand me a list and say, hey, we need these things done. Make sure the team does it. And I'm like, you know, aye, aye, Captain, get, you know, go get it done. And dude, we got it done. Everybody did well. We all worked well. We all sold well. Everything was clean. You know, like, but when I was in charge and I had to be the one to come up with that list, and then I had to be the one to encourage the person who was supposed to be the workhorse to, and it's, just, it, it's very hard for me to... I've realized that, like, I'll never be number one. I'm always number two. I'm okay with that. But, like, less, you know, less responsibility, too, you know? But, like, dude, it can be... It can be a little, you know, challenging, you know? Do I have... Let me check something real quick here. Let me check something. My wife can Okay, good, 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 good. Dude, I created a, I created this, uh, uh, this, like, overlay for, like, my job. Dude, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get one of my managers to use Streamlabs <laughs> for a, for a, uh, for a demonstration of one of our new products. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, actually. <laughs> and the... I'm just like, I'm explaining, and like, we're doing like a green screen and everything. And they're like, I didn't know you could do this. And they're so, dude, they're so confused too, because they're like, one of the guys is like, we're, we're getting all set up. And he's like, so where do we put the projector? I'm like, what projector? He goes, yeah, where's the projector? I'm like, what are you talking about? He goes, where does the projector go? I said, what projector? And he goes, yes. I'm like, yes, what? He goes, where's the projector? I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> There's no projector. He goes, so how do we display on this green screen? I'm like, that's not how a green screen works. (laughs) 
<laughs> it's alright, dude. I mean, he doesn't know. I mean, I was figuring it out, too. I've never done any of the chroma key stuff before, but I figured it out. It's not hard. It really isn't. As long as you just have the stuff, dude, it's a piece of cake, actually. What, what's the pain in the butt, dude, is that... You know, we're trying to stream on, like, a conference platform. We're obviously not streaming on Twitch or anything like that. Because it's not entertainment. It's, you know, it's uh, trying to sell software, you know? So we have to we have to buy a license for something. Because even these free platforms and stuff, when you're, like, a corporation, uh, usually in their user agreement, says that if you're, if you're an enterprise, you have to buy licenses. Oh, yeah, dude, I, I'd love to... Yeah, make, make like, a clip, dude. I'd love to see that, dude. That'd be hilarious shit. You know, I'll... Yeah, if you put it in your, uh... Your, um... Uh, your Discord, I'll see it all. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll hop over and watch it. So I know, I know you usually post them in there. Oh, no, what are you doing? I am not paying attention to what I'm doing here. I'm just, I'm just rambling on, dude. I'm having way too much of a good time just talking. That's what I want to do. And then we got a healer, dude. Yeah! <laughs> cool, man. What what time do you go on? Is there a set time you go on, or do you just go on? Because I've been doing 9 o'clock every night. Before 8? Okay. Cool. So what I'll do, well, what I'll do is I'll turn you on, because uh, I do like some prep work. Because usually I'll eat dinner beforehand, and sometimes I do turn you on and watch you for a little bit. And I'll, but I'll usually like prep my stream and like edit a few things or whatnot. So I'll turn you on. I'll have you in the background. I'll I'll watch you while I'm editing and stuff. Yeah, but dude, have a good weekend, man. Yeah, I didn't know if you're if you're going or not. Oh yeah, you see, you gotta go. Yeah, dude. Dude, have a good, dude, have a good night, man. Go play some Borderlands. <laughs> Don't watch me, watch Borderlands. Oh, hey, hey, are you still there, actually? I wanna ask you a real quick question. I feel like I've already asked you this, but I wanna ask you this really quickly. Um, okay, so you, you, you use Streamlabs, right? And I feel like I've already asked you this, but I'm going to ask it again. You use Streamlabs, correct? Like the OBS? Okay. Have you or do you have issues with your notifications going live? Like when you when you hit, you know, go live, the green button, right? Do your notifications pop? Or do you just rely on Discord to get your, your stuff out? I've been meaning to say this here. I just keep forgetting to say it out loud. Both? Okay. But it does, you know what goes out, like, like, you know, like, your fans will come in. Fans, I want audience, your followers, sorry. It's kind of rude to say it like that, I guess. <laughs> look at my, look at my, my right horn. <laughs> hey, lady, what's up? Uh, they come in and then go after a few because it takes two or three minutes to send out tweets and discords. Okay, so they're, your your peeps are seeing them on your social media. They're not necessarily seeing the, the live notification. Like, um, you know how on Twitch you can edit in your, your dashboard? Is that what it's called? I think a dashboard? Where's my Twitch? It is... Yeah, create a dashboard. You can update that page, and, and it says a title, and it says go live notification. My issue is that they're not popping, and I can't figure out what the hell is happening at all, any way, shape, or form. All right, so I just, I, dude, it's, I don't know why, it, it's like pulling teeth with them to get on, on, 
It, it might be, dude. I don't know. You, you know. you know what was funny? You know when it stopped working? When they updated uh, Streamlabs. The second they... When, when that whole new layout rolled out, and they're like, oh, it's supposed to be easier, and like everybody's stuff got like wiped. That's when it stopped working. And ever since then, like, it's hit or miss. I think it's worked twice. Like, dude, the other night... Seriously, the other night, I went live playing Walking Dead. I played for, I think, three hours. Went to bed. At five in the morning, Orchid texts me. Hopefully the new update coming will fit. Oh, dude, I hope to God. I really think it's Streamlabs. Um, because I went live on my phone once because my Streamlabs crashed. Remember that? I had that virus that killed my system. Um, I went live on my phone to tell everybody, hey, sorry, it died. I, I, gotta, I gotta fix it. I'm gonna stay live and just talk to you, but I'm gonna fix it uh, while I'm talking to you. And everyone's like, hey, we got a notification. I'm like, cool. So when I use Facebook, or not Facebook, when I use uh, Stream, uh, not Stream, it's Twitch, like the Twitch app, mobile app on my phone, and I go direct, it works. So like, that's what makes me think it's Streamlabs. So hopefully the new update will will clear that up. So, and like I said, I can't I, on the internet, dude. I'm not really. There's about four or five other people I found who are dealing with it, and then there's no fix for it. Everybody just says, "Hey, tell people on Discord." Yeah. So, are you playing like a physical Jack in the Box? Or are you playing like the game, like the video game? Because I know there's both. Like there's a physical like board game or like cards or something. Yeah, but like I'm down, dude. It just depends on what's what's going on. Dude, my life is so up in the air too. Like I said, dude, I'm such a I get like anxiety and shit, dude. I'm sorry, man. I always feel bad because you're like one of the coolest dudes like I've met. And I always feel like I'm like dodging it. I'm really not trying dude, I'm just Dude, I get like I get weird sometimes. And it's funny because like in person, dude, I just know how to like roll. But like really, dude, I actually I actually get like I have a lot of anxiety. So like with people like you should come over. I'm like, <gasps> like that, that's a face you never see. And I, I just want to. I seriously, I want to apologize. Like sometimes it, it actually it freaks me out. You don't freak me out, but it's just dude, you know, I'm such a fucking nut job, dude. TKL and I order the best design. So yeah, do just do just remind me and encourage me, dude, and and we'll you know we'll see the schedule. And, Dude, it doesn't sound... When you say it, it actually sounds fun. But like I said, it's just... I get like... I don't know, dude. I, don't mind me, dude. I'm just a fucking freak of nature. You'll have to send me... Do you have... Do you have like a video or something? You guys playing it? Or like a video of anybody playing it? Because that would probably encourage me, too. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, just, just message me, dude. I, just encur encourage me, dude, and I'll... Wait, you're, you're up in Port Charlotte, right? Because I'm down in Naples now. Hey, kitty cat. Oh, you're in Cape. Oh, okay, okay, that's not too bad. I thought you are up in Port Charlotte for whatever reason. Or Punta Gorda or something. Either way, I know you gotta go, dude. I didn't mean to keep you, bro. I got a cat here in front of my TV. All right, man. Yeah, dude, shoot me a text, dude. And we'll, uh, you know, tomorrow, whenever you're free or whatever, and we'll, we'll chat some more. I think I should probably maybe wrap up myself here, dude. It's been a long week. I'm, like, dead tired. I think I think the caffeine's still here a little bit, but I'm, like, internally, I'm, like, super exhausted. I'm, like, drained, so I think I may even call it myself. But I think it's just you. Even though it says two, I think it's just you and I left, so. Either way, man, I think that's a good... Dude, have a good night, dude. Alright, everybody. That's the show if you're watching the recorded version. Thank you for watching. Uh, to let everybody know, I am live. 9 o'clock Eastern every single night of the week on Twitch TV or Twitch.tv 
four backslash shovel fighter. Don't forget, there's an underscore in between. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know I did a lot of talking, not a lot of gaming. Unfortunately, I have a really big mouth. My my uh, my boss, she always calls me talking tad because it's probably true. I probably talk a little too much. But hey, thanks for everybody for who was here live and in the chat. Thank you for everybody that watches this in the the, the recorded version. And I will see you later.